Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Flappy Bird in Scratch. So first I'm going to go to Backdrops, select the Fill Tool and select a blue color and I'm going to fill it in. This is going to be the sky. Then I'm going to mouse over over here, go to Upload Sprite and select this bird that I downloaded on the internet. I'm going to set the size to 10 and first I'm going to go to Variables, make a variable and call it Gravity. This will be the gravity of the player. I'm going to go to events, when green flag clicked, go to variables, and set gravity to zero. Then I'm going to go to control, forever, change y by 10, and I'm going to drag in gravity. Then we need to change the gravity by negative one. I also want to reset the position when we click the green flag. I'm going to press the green flag, and you can see it drops. Next, let's make it so that when you press space, it moves. I'm going to drag in if then, go to sensing and drag out key space pressed, go to variables and I'm going to set gravity to 10. So you can see when I press space, it jumps up. Next I'm going to go to events, make another when green flag clicks forever, I'm going to put this in here. Then I'm going to scroll down to wait until, not key space pressed so I can't hold down the space bar. Okay, I'm gonna change this to negative 200 so the Flappy Bird is over here. And I'm going to choose a sprite, upload sprite, and I'm gonna choose this pipe that I also downloaded on the internet. I'm gonna go into costumes and press convert to vector. I'm gonna move this down, duplicate it, and flip it horizontally, and move it up so there's a gap in between it like that. Okay, then let's go to code, events, when green flag clicked, forever, wait, three seconds, create clone of myself. I'm going to hide this, and when I start as a clone, you want to show it, go to x240, y0, and control, repeat until, less than or equal to, negative 240 and I'm going to go to motion and drag out X position so it'll move I want it to move to the right to the left and when it does reach the end of the screen delete this clone so I'm going to press the green flag and you can see I'm going to put this right here above the wait three seconds okay so now I'm going to change this to one and I want this Y to be random. So I'm going to pick random from 1 to 10, put it in the Y, and choose from negative 100 to 100. So you can see they start spawning up and down randomly. Next, let's make a score. I'm going to go to variables, make a variable, call it score. Then I'm going to drag out change gravity by 1 and change it to score. I'm going to, un I'm going to hide the gravity variable and make this bigger so it's on the top left so you can see when the pipe disappears the score goes up but you can see when we hit a pipe nothing happens I'm gonna go to choose a sprite go to paint and I'm going to choose a black color and convert to bitmap and convert back to vector I'm gonna choose a white color and type in game over. I'm going to make this bigger. Not that big. Okay. So I'm going to hide this and reset the position to zero and zero and go to events. When I receive message one, new message, I'm going to call this game over, then show and stop all. Then I'm going to go to bird and if we are touching the pipe, then I want to broadcast game over. So I'm going to start playing and you can see if I touch a pipe, game over. One thing, last thing I need to do is set the score to zero when we press the green flag so it doesn't stay the same. This is not hiding, so I'm going to go to one green flag clicked, hide. Okay, I'm going to test out my game. I can move up and down. And I'm going to try to get the highest score. Okay. Thanks for watching this tutorial. And I hope to see you.
see you in the next one.